Now, the essentials. This is what you must have. I don't care if you have wine. I don't care if you have spaghetti. I don't care if you have pizza, but you must have gelato. Uh, so a cup or a cone of it is, are your options, basically. So you can ask for una copa di gelato. Una copa di gelato. Or un cono, di gelato. un cono di gelato. And then, of course, you can just point at the different flavors, right? Um, one little side note about that. You want to make sure that they, the color of the gelato that you're getting is a color that occurs naturally in the world, okay? Meaning, if you're going to ask for a banana gelato, what color should it be? Do you eat the yellow part of the banana? Yes. You eat the creamy, white, yellow, uh, like kind of beigey kind of color? So that's what your gelato should look like. If it's hyper yellow, there's something funky going on there. You just stay away from that and go to a better gelateria. Use your guidebook. Use your Rick Steves guidebook and find out where the good gelato is. Uh, if you want one sandwich, or if you want two sandwiches, I want to show you this because I want to distinguish between um, how we pluralize things. So a sandwich, un panino. un panino. We've gotten so accustomed to hearing panini that when we're out and about at any of these shops that offer paninis or sandwiches, you know, with the grilling thing going on, we say, oh, can I have a panini? You can't have a panini. You can have a panino, but you can have more than one panini. So here we've got two panini, due panini. Okay, so that's your singular, that's your plural. Uh, cheers. Yeah, we had all these drinks. We had our red wine, we had our white wine, we had our beer, all these things. We got to cheers to one another. Salute. Salute. To your health. Salute. Salute. Or the very common thing nowadays is just to make the sound, to say the onomatopoeia sound of two glasses clinking together. So that's chin chin. Chin chin. Kink kink. Kink kink. 